Hi, this is David Baxter. I'm here with the OneRing.net at the L.A. premiere of Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. How does it feel now that you've been getting some closure on this? It's a, it's a great celebration of the journey we've been on. Um, and, it, and it's nice to be able to do that with the entire cast, and or almost the entire cast. Um, so it's, it's wonderful. Now, you had worked on Apocalypse Now, is that correct? I had. How does this, how did the experience of Lord of the Rings compare to Apocalypse Now? Um, the Lord of the Rings is the biggest film ever made, so what can I say? It was, uh, you know, it's amazing. We've been in production for about four, you know, from the time we started shooting for about four years. And, and uh, we sh shot for 2,350 shooting days, all told, all units. Um, and, uh, you know, what can I say? It's the biggest thing ever undertaken. Is it true that you've fallen in love with New Zealand? Yes, I have. I love New Zealand. I have a great house there. I feel really comfortable there. I have a lot of friends over there as well. Will you be making more films there? I think so. I have a picture after this called Magnificent Magic Fingers that I hope to do in, uh, in New Zealand with Rob Sarkis. And I have a picture in Australia that I may do with uh, Ray Lawrence. Is there anything you'd like to say to the fans who've been so supportive and have you know, loved going on this journey with you this whole time? Yeah, we love you guys, and uh, we're glad that we really appreciate all the support. You really helped kick off the movie to a great start, and you've been, uh, it, it's always fun to go to the party uh, during the Oscars. Thanks a lot, and look forward to seeing you again this year. Thank you so much. We just all, all the fans wanted to congratulate you. I'm doing such a marvelous job, and we're wondering now that you've reached the end of this journey, if you have any final thoughts or words that you might like to express to the fans. It was a long journey for all of us. It's going to be a very emotional night for me because I have not seen the film. Um, I know I'm going to cry like a baby. I know it's five long years and lots of tears and probably nowhere near as many laughs as we would have liked in the making of it but I think that's how truly great films are made so here's hoping and here's hoping that Peter gets what he deserves for this all the fans hope that as well and I know that they'd all want to thank you for bringing these characters to life for all of us it looked exactly like so many of us imagined when we read the books so thank you once again But I just wanted uh, to know if you had anything to say to the fans of Lord of the Rings who love your work and just, you know, at the end of this journey. It's been yeah, just for being so supportive and just to, that you should know that we're great fans. Uh, we're, we're one of you. You know, we wanted to make a movie uh, that you would be proud of. And uh, we're, you know, it's really gratifying that you love it as much as we do. We heard that the uh, symphony down in New Zealand went over very, very well with the fans down there, and we're wondering when uh, you might be coming to Los Angeles. Uh, there is some talk of coming to Los Angeles. I'm sure it will. I think the, there's there's definitely a concert in Seattle. Uh, I'm not sure when exactly it is. Maybe in the I think in the spring possibly. Uh, and uh, but I'm sure there'll be one in Los Angeles. Or close. Do you have any more composing to do for the extended edition, or are things pretty much set? Yeah, no, no, there's much more composing to do, which I'm actually happy to do and stay in Middle Earth a little longer. It's kind of a, a cool thing. Uh, but I'll be recording in March. The next three months will be all DVD work for me. Well, we hope that it will be a very successful DVD work, and uh, we're all looking forward to the next cut. And congratulations. Thanks for being there. Thanks, you guys. Our pleasure. How does it feel now that you're at the journey's end, as it were? Is there a sense of relief? Is it what's what's going through your, your head now that this is happening? It is extreme mixed emotions because uh, at one level we're thrilled because we're ready to leave Middle Earth. We've got other stories we want to tell, but we may never see the cast again. And as the as the One Ring people know, 
we've all become very fond of the cast, as you have. And uh, to think that we may never be united again is a very sad emotion. This could be the last night, and that's a real tragedy. So. Well, all the fans hope that that's not the case and that there will be an opportunity for at least some of the cast to reunite at a later date. As do we. We dream of that day. So, Could you tell us just a little bit about this fantastic outfit? Most definitely. This was designed for Tanya and I by uh, Liz Mitchell, a New Zealand designer. I'm wearing Rivendell. It's got the incantations of Middle Earth on it, obviously a little Malorn leaf here. And uh, Tanya is wearing Loch Lorien. So she's got Malorn sprinkled down her clothing, which are very beautiful. Well, fantastic. Thank you so much. Do you have any last words to the fans? This may be the last time on a red carpet that will get to see you with with regards to Lord of the Rings. So much of the reason that we are here is the continual support of you guys. They, no one has thrown a derogatory word. No one has doubted us. Everyone has continued to celebrate in our efforts on the film. And I cannot thank you enough for confirming for us that we tried hard and mostly we did the right thing. So cheers to you guys. Thank you very much.